One of the biggest character archetypes in anime, manga, and light novels is that of the yandere. Yandere seem sweet enough when you first meet them, but then they turn out to be super freaking crazy. Lurking right under the surface is several layers of insane, obsessive love for whoever their target happens to be. For some of these characters, their love is aimed towards a specific person. For other yandere's, their love is a lot more general, but no less dangerous. Even if their crazy antics are coming from a place of love, you can't help but feel anywhere from mildly unsettled to genuinely creeped out. I'm Alyssa with ES Anime, and these are the top 10 craziest anime yandere characters. At number 10, we have Mana Oma, Guilty Crown. At first, Mana is portrayed as a sweet girl, gentle, kind, and a loving sister to Shu. When she became infected with the virus, she became sadistic. So much so that she tried to have Triton kill himself in order for her to be with Shu. When infected, she wanted to tie the knot with Shu and mix their genes to make a new world together only to have Shu push her away and cause an uproar in the Lost Christmas incident. <laughs> At number 9, we have Kaede Huyo from Shuffle. Kaede is very modest, polite, and a soft spoken young lady who is clear headed, has attractive looks, and is excellent at housework. However, she frequently prioritizes Rin Tsuchimi to the point that she neglects herself. At times like this, she is shown to have severe mental distress and acts violently when a great shock upsets her. She has the classic signs of yandere, and where her eyes become soulless and her normally gentle face becomes hostile and menacing whenever she is in that mode. <laughs> At number 8, we have Reina Ryugu from When They Cry. Reina has an obsession with all things cute. In what the others call her cute mode, she often tries to take such things home and put any of the club members in cute punishment game outfits. She spends much of her time treasure hunting at the town's trash heap in search of cute things, which often appeal only to her. In the trash heap, Reina has a secret base consisting of an old van she has filled with things she likes, to which she retreats when distressed. Nevertheless, according to Mion, while Reina might seem cute herself, people should be careful not to anger her, as she can become quite scary. At number 7, we have Mikasa Ackerman, Attack on Titan. Before joining the Jaeger family, Mikasa appeared to be a cheerful, outgoing, and gentle child. Her innocence allowed her to push anxious thoughts to the back of her mind, continuing to live with her parents and loved ones happily. Growing up, Mikasa has become emotionally withdrawn and noticeably dangerous, sometimes intimidating her enemies or even her comrades. She is quite stoic and level-headed, rarely seemed to lose her cool or be at a loss of what to do, no matter how bleak the situation seems to be. At number 6, we have Kotonoha Katsura from School Days. Generally, Kotonoha is an intelligent, gentle, polite, and well-educated young lady with a reserved character. She is so reserved, in fact, there is no mention she has a single friend before she was acquainted with Sekai Sayonji and Makoto Ito. Having almost no social life, she becomes incredibly dependent and devoted to Makoto. But this kind of firmness can lead to drastic repercussions. If she feels Makoto is leaving her and cannot be won back, such tremendous sorrow and desperation will drive her berserk or yandere, render her to commit suicide or to murder those she believes is stealing Makoto away from her. Her attachment to Makoto is so great that she refuses to accept that he would ever break up with her. Perhaps linked to her possible murder aside, if Makoto invites her to watch a horror movie, she admits she's a fan of horror and splatter movies, but usually keeps quiet about it. 
他の女の子ともたくさん会うようにする何それ他の女の子ともデートするまあそういうことにそんなの嫌そんなの見たらその子殺しちゃうよおえ At number five, we have Misa Amane, Death Note. Misa is very outgoing and is shown to be quite popular due to her career. She attracts a large crowd while visiting Light near his school. She is hyperactive, impulsive, and otherwise childlike, evidenced by her tendency to speak in the third person. Although she is generally nice to those she meets, she can also be quite cruel. She tells Light that she would kill any other girls he dates. Despite said girls being part of his plan to appear as a normal young man to the investigators and deflect his suspicion from himself and Misa. <sighs> なんでチビアはクレイ様を傷つけてありえないありえないチビアがクレイ様を傷つけるなんてクレイ様の手で早くチビアを At number four, we have Juvia Loxer, Fairy Tale. Juvia is first introduced portraying an emotionless face. Seeming more secluded from everyone, including members of the Phantom Lord Guild. After she joins Fairy Tale, she develops a happier demeanor. She is obsessed with Grey f u l l b u s t e r to the point of considering anyone who shows affection towards him a rival. And when Merity threatened him, Juvia loses her calm demeanor and entered a somewhat satanic appearing state that frightens Merity and even Urza. Juvia also seems to have a slight masochistic side. Upon making a mistake, she asks Grey to spank her as punishment, saying it's her. Hobby. At number three, we have Ana Nishiki no Mia from Shimoneta, a boring world where the concept of dirty jokes doesn't exist. Anna is a responsible person and student council president. Despite her status, she has been shown to be quite naive and clueless when it comes to lewd materials. However, when it comes to Tanukichi Okuma, after they accidentally share a first kiss, she attempts to collect his love nectar, which is shown throughout the series progressively. She can be very obsessive over him at times, and she claims that this obsession is love. And that everything committed out of love is an act of justice. Ayame points out that, in reality, Ana may not be capable of distinguishing between love and thirst. Anata no konomi a donna hito? Atashi wa boro boro de chi no kaori ga suri hito da aiski desu. Dakara sai go wa itsu mo kiri kizamu no. Eh, ocha to cha, tanushii ne. At number two, we have Himiko Toga, My Hero Academia. Himiko is a very cheerful girl to the point of smiling even after having presumably killed someone, displaying sadistic tendencies. This continues even when danger is imminent, as shown when Tomura Shigaraki was about to attack her. But it tends to stop when she is bored or annoyed. Himiko is frequently seen blushing, seemingly out of excitement rather than embarrassment, giving her a permanent look of what appears to be love sickness on her face. However, she has shown that she can easily be embarrassed, such as when she thinks people are coming on to her, or when she is naked when copying clothes of the people she has transformed into. <laughs> At number one, we have Yuno Gasai, the future diary. Yuno's personality is ambiguous. For the most part, she is sweet, feminine, and sometimes shy when around Yukiteru. But this masks her dark and sanguinary side ruthless, cold, and calculating. She has little, if any, problem with using and taking advantage of others for her goals, her and Yukiteru's survival. She will resort to cruel and usually violent methods, most of the time coming out of nowhere that generally end in bloody deaths of either a diary holder or their followers, effectively making her a yandere. Well, that's it for this list. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, check out our other videos. Bye!